what makes me different is one of the major reasons that I came to Bishopsgate was obviously a great interview that I had with yourself um, and the passion that you guys demonstrated as well. So I learned from my experiences at Ledbetter Academies that if I want to really develop and push myself outside my comfort zone and continue to grow at a, at a fast rate, I need to be around like-minded people. Uh, and that's the thing that really attracted me when obviously I got involved and, and spoke more with yourselves and Ian Highfield at the time. And um, So what makes me different from there on is that I've I've had a great range of experience, probably better experience than most people because I've worked in so many different countries and not only different countries but different roles. So I've been an academy director for David Ledbetter Golf Academies. I've been a national coach in Slovenia. Um, and now obviously being in Bishopsgate, I have all that experience that I can call on to help me um, be a better golf coach for these students. And you know, one of the great things that Ledbetter always said, what makes a great golf coach? And he said, instinct. So I believe that's what differentiates me from other golf coaches that you know, I've certainly learned a lot from being here involved with you guys and more on the science of learning. And I've always um, felt that my instinct have been very, very strong and I understand maybe what a student needs and how to create a really effective training environment. But it's now taking a different level. As I'm trying to understand the science behind why I do this. Okay, and that's sort of the area that I'm really working on with you guys here at Bishopsgate is understanding the science and just sort of uh, helping me understand, oh, okay, that's maybe why my, I've been doing that this way for the last few years. So I think that's probably the major thing is um, all that experience has helped me be have a lot better instinct when I see a student in front of me. And then the other thing would certainly be the discipline that I have in regard to um, structuring training sessions and also the discipline during the training session and making sure that I don't let students um, become comfortable. Okay, even though it's not what they want to hear and it's not maybe how they want to train, they would like to come out to training and maybe be a little bit more comfortable, put their headphones in and just have a great time. But if they're serious about fulfilling their potential, or a lot of them have very high goals, so they need to understand that if they want to achieve those goals, then they've got to have to make some sacrifices. And that means that, okay, in training, you're going to be uncomfortable, but they understand through us educating them that that uh, uncomfortable feelings that they have in the long term is really going to benefit them. They're going to be able to produce results when results are required, and that's, that's what we want to prepare them for. That's awesome. And what we're going to do is we're going to link up some of the ways that David stretches his athlete's comfort zone, some of the practical application of how he creates this retention and transfer of skill. We're gonna link up some of the ways that he creates these training environments, whether it's the planning and the preparation, or it's that discipline that he speaks of. But for all of you that wanna take the opportunity to learn and grow from all of David's experiences, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. I encourage you to follow David on social media and really get to know the coach here that is allowing his athletes to evolve each and every day in a way that is just so exceptional.